You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about what it means to be a professional and how my career can continue to grow and evolve regardless of how good of a developer I am. Things like how to give estimates, salary negotiations, maybe um, giving two weeks, things that speak to me, to my level of professionalism and that will help my career out. And that's what this new series is about. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it. You know, although this course or this series is about rather um, the professional nature of and how that can help your career, you are also gonna need the skills, the ability to solve algorithms through those technical interviews. And my course, the 100 Algorithms Challenge, is an excellent resource to get you going where we have 100 different solutions in here going through a pretty much any algorithm you'll, you'll get. Um, and then I actually might even expand upon it, but I recently added a technical phone screen section, which I'm going to add some additional content to as well. You can get it for just 10 bucks in the description below. So I can't really say that it was my idea to think more about what it means to be a professional. A coworker of mine, my tech lead, sort of expanded my mind to the fact that it's not all about technologies. It's not all about skill. And on, on some base level, I think we all understand that, right? Um, that there's other aspects to being a professional in software development in, or in any industry than just the actual skill and ability. And we can argue about whether that's right or not. But uh, I, I personally think it's fine because you need to provide business value and business value means a lot of different things, right? Um, and he turned me on to um, the book, The Clean, he turned me on to Uncle Bob, which turned me on to his book, The Clean Coder, which talks about a lot of stuff. And the books I'm gonna mention, I've done book reviews on and there's links in the description if you're interested in any of them. I, I, I highly recommend uh, uh, both The Clean Coder, which talks about a lot of different aspects of being, a, it's basically a book it's a soft skill book about professionalism and software development. And uh, in there, it talks about how to give good, good time commitments in software dev and what it really means to be a professional developer other than just, I write code for a living, right? What does that mean? And how we make commitments and when we don't and how we need to be able to clearly communicate that to the business. Um, but it's much more than that. And uh, another great book that kind of dives into this is The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide uh, that my girlfriend's actually reading, as you can see with the, the post-it notes in there. Um, and th this book covers a lot of stuff. Um, I would say it super deep dives into a lot of things, but it covers a lot of concepts. But the, the, more I, the more I learn what it means to be a good professional and a good employee to a degree, um, which may surprise you. Um, you know, a lot of times people think being a good employee means you work extra hours. Um, and if you don't, you suffer the consequences. I can tell you that, you know, I, I personally have sat in meetings with, you know, the director, my manager, and there's, and, you know, people are suggesting working overtime. And I am saying, look, we put in our time. We put, if the business is making unreasonable requests, it's not up to us to you know work extra hours we work extra hours when we've made commitments and we haven't got there and that to a degree will gain you respect and that's sort of a counterintuitive thing for a lot of people when they're they're getting started also i've seen in numerous situations where developers or individuals refuse to work on the skills that the business value and uh, again, these aren't technical skills, right? Techni technically speaking, you're doing a great job, but there's other skills. The most important one of which is communication. Uh, I've seen devs who should have maybe been promoted to manager or some other spot get a different role or, or not get the promotion for someone who might have lesser experience because their personal skills aren't on the level and they didn't take the time to understand that that's part of it. That's you know, that's part of any item. You know, if you want to be a tech lead, but you're bad at mentoring, guess what? You're probably not gonna get the tech lead role no matter how qualified your technical skills are because there's a lot of things that go into what provides business value. And that's something that, that we're gonna be discussing in this series as well. Not only what to improve upon as a professional, you know, I've, uh, 
I filmed a couple of videos already about things going in my li going on in my life or that have happened in the past about contract negotiations, resignation letters, counter offers, um, all items that are important and have just as big of an impact on your career that as to the skills that you learn. And it's rather sad the amount of time that people put into not only learning new skills, but also personal development. And that's such a widely used term nowadays where personal development, personal branding, personal this, personal that, but really about just improving your value as a professional, about being taken seriously and what that means. It is a uh, it is something that I'm not perfect at by any means, but it's something that I'm actively going about to to do. And a lot of times you'd be surprised about about how a few simple things, things that you take for granted that I or I take for granted that I you don't see necessarily in other people that, you know, a business might value, a, a, you know, a manager might value. The simple things like showing up to time, showing up to work on time, notifying, you know, ahead of time when you're going to use some PTO saying, oh, look, I'm going to be out the next three days, not the day of two weeks beforehand. Little things that you have control over to just show that you're professional when when ways that don't when things are going in a negative way, um, following procedures and saying, look, um, this person is being very unprofessional. I didn't call him out on it, but you're my manager and things are getting lost and issues are having here and handling that in a professional manner. So there's about 20 or 30 topics I actually want to discuss in, the, in this sort of arc of our career here, a career arc. Um, and uh, I wish I could come up with a good series name. I haven't yet, so in the comments below. But feel free to suggest some ideas as well because I'm going to be talking about the items that I know to be true. Um, the items that are that I can give personal experiences from, um, you know, life experience from. Uh, and, you know, I have I'm relatively new to software development, um, but I have experienced some things that I, I think I can. I'm very observant as well. And I, I, I think about these things. I study these things, you know, whether it be in books or in the workplace and how we might be able to make that make that work for you guys. So um, feel free to suggest ideas. And if I think I can provide value, I will. But I want you guys to start thinking about this outside of just technical skills. And I, I feel like, you know, the, the majority of my channel, the majority of the subscribers at this point in their career, are they, they're just getting started. They're in junior roles or they're aspiring junior developers. But as I continue to mature, you should continue to mature as well. And what happens is you realize that those skills they're important, but they're not the only thing. And that's what I w really want this series to sort of ingrain in you is that you may be ha learn the top technologies. You, may, you might ace the technical interview, but if you don't know how to negotiate a salary, what's even the point, right? Yeah, you're going to get paid well and maybe, um, but you'd be surprised how much better you can get paid and how much happier you'd be and how that could have a, you know, the, the uh, getting five, ten, twenty thousand dollars more at the start of your career, it's an exponential sort of item. You know, it, it saves you years of development and, and of, of career development. And so focusing on your career and your professionalism can pay dividends in more than one more than one way. Money isn't everything, right? But that's that's just sort of the go to thing. So um, I'm very excited about this series and uh, I'm very excited to to really be able to reflect on what I what I personally think is important skills and and how we can get you to say let's not only are we upgrading our technical skills which are important but we're also going to be upgrading our career and professional skills that is of equal equivalent importance believe it or not so um, with that being said guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share hit that notification bell so you can find out when the very next uh when the video series that's launching this week comes out uh we all we of course do two videos a week and uh we got some really good topics and again if you want me to talk about some items uh in terms of professionalism or career um, in software development or in a more generic sense, which is what I'm going to try and do with this series, feel, feel free to leave comments below. Bye, guys.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested, my 100 algorithm challenge course is out and I just added 10 new videos to prep you for the technical phone screen. Check it out in the description down below for just 10 bucks.